Hello people, Secret Senpai here, and here's Battle Game in 5 seconds, episode 12 the final ability. Let's do this. Well, this is it, the last episode. This show started off really strong, and it kind of did go a little bit... It, it, was, it was like he, it was like this, and then we're like, Ugh. Especially with this final arc. The final arc was really rushed. Um, as some of y'all even say in the comments that they skipped something, so... Fortunately, but here we go, the final battle. Ooh, her arm's destroyed. Oh, his arm is okay. Did hurt a little bit. Oh, so he, so he, he's going to keep going even if he's that hurt. I am still though curious on the circumstances that led to him and the other dude ending up here. Like, how did they end up here? Like, how did they die or whatever to then be here? I mean, they probably show that in the manga, maybe, but you know, since they're skipping stuff in this, so. Dang! Let's get this going. Oh! What's going on? Oh! <gasps> ability went off? Yeah! Is his ability off too? What? Why? Oh, that's messed up. Who did it? He did. Oh, that's messed up. He did have the other phone. I was wondering what he's going to do with it. I thought he was just going to do like a little like farewell call to the homie, to his his homie, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> okay, one more trick up his sleeve. <laughs> Literally, or I guess up his jacket. <laughs> but that. Hmm. I don't feel bad. They play that like sad music. <laughs> I don't feel bad. <laughs> oh. Okay. Can you call her yourself, or maybe not? <gasps> Yo, that's messed up. What's 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 he gonna do? I'm so curious to see what, what kind of plan he has. Is he about to use the um, green leader's um, ability? Hm. My final ability of this battle. What is he going to use? Oh! Oh, so okay. So she's gonna think of an ability that he could use. Huh? Okay, like a super punch, like One Punch Man, basically. Ooh. Well, well, well. Oh, now he is dead. I guess it was one punch that did end it. Yeah, that super move he said. Yeah, final resort. Oh, man. Oh, boy. He can't get no breaks. What's that? <laughs> what does that mean? About what you want to do. Hmm. Oh. oh, blue, the blue kit king, right? Yeah, leader, blue team's leader. <laughs> I said king. <laughs> hmm. They may have figured it out. Watch, it's the same ability. 
The same as his, yeah. Oh, that was lethal. Man. Oh, so our goal's aligned? <laughs> okay. And the fourth program, yeah. Well, he shot a cannon, so you'd think it's the cannon, but I think it's the same as his because he instantly thought of the cannon. Uh, what? What? Oh, is this a flashback? That has to be a flashback. What? This isn't a flashback. So they got let out? Or something? Or is this program 3? 4? Okay, I'll let this play out. Okay, so he's still doing his training or whatever. She's at school. Okay, I said my final thoughts once all this ends, because before they show anything else. Okay, so all that happened, and after that third program, there was a fourth program. I'm assuming the fourth program is them getting let out, but they're still there. Who's that? Oh, his father. What? He also had the things. It continues. They just have it clearer now or something? Fourth program in Tokyo, okay. Um, what the heck? Yo, this, okay. This show started off really good. We could all agree on that. It started off, well, if you liked it. It started off good, I enjoyed it. It, it was suspenseful, it was interesting, and it was intriguing. I, once program three started, it was still interesting. And it, we delved into all these different things. Oh, this whole society, people have been here for a while. And there's different, these different teams, there's different people with different abilities and stuff. Or more people with abilities, to be more precise. Being like factions, more so. But, it was around then, once they began the first, like, quest, when Akira and Yuri was there for their first, like, quest, and with the green team, that's when things started to get a little messy for me. Like, like from then on until the final arc where once it was revealed what their final battle, what that big old battle would be with the green team versus the red team. When that was introduced, I'm like, oh, hey, we're going to have this happen in like a week. Once that happened, that's when it started to get a little like messy. Um, and since that things were being skipped, some things were being rushed, information was being thrown at us instantly. And I felt like the um, flow that the show had before was now being choppy in a way, if that makes sense. Yeah, overall though, I did enjoy Battle Game in 5 Seconds. Um, start off good, in the end it got a little... Uh, choppy. The final battle happened, um, it was a little bit... somewhat anticlimactic. It was nice seeing what his final move was. That was, oh hey, it is a super punch. I thought it was gonna be something else insane, but actually it was a super punch, which was, it was unexpected. So, yeah, there's that. Then we also learned the other dude has like the same ability he has, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe he doesn't. I mean, he shot a cannon, but he thought of that, and I think it's, it's implied that they have the same ability. So, um, and their goals align. Yeah, and I guess those other people who were in the program already, program three, in that like, civilization or something that like camp that they had they they stay there <laughs> what <laughs> they don't they don't get to be free <laughs> okay <laughs> what's up with that i wish we they we got an explanation as to why that was the case or maybe they chose to stay i don't know why would you choose to stay i don't know i don't know that seems that sounds weird but um will there be a season two of this who knows who knows it's like one of those shows where i would like to think that there may not be a season two only because of how like choppy it was but at the same time the show may just get season two because of how it is um overall seven out of ten it could have gotten an eight if it was still kept the flow going um animation was style was it was interesting it wasn't like super like fancy or anything which i don't i mean animation style i'm not like super into as long as it's not like flat we got like a slideshow going on or anything or anything like that. I know they tried to incorporate some CGI into this, and it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, 
Um, I wasn't too big of a fan of CGI in this. I know they did it for the monsters, um, or whatever, zombie pins. Um, in the first episode, it looked kind of it looked interesting, but then later on in the episode, again in Program 3, when they did it, and then again in the final episodes where they're fighting, especially with against that um, other dude, oh, what's his name? Whatever, I don't know, Ugami or something? Anyways, um, let me know what you thought about, about this in the comments below. If you want to see me check out the manga, I'd be glad to do so, because I, I plan on reading on my own time, but if you want to see like a reaction of that, let me know. I'll also be catching up to Talentless Nana as well, because I know that was a manga I was reading and then I fell out of, so... Anyways, that's all to say. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you later for some more shows. I actually have a video up on what shows I'll be watching for the fall season soon. And yeah, that's all to say. See you later. Peace. <laughs>